Good morning, everybody. How is it going? Today we're playing Legion Commander. We're going into the mid lane. This is a replay, mostly because I'm still sick, as you may be able to hear, and I currently just can't do live commentary, which kind of sucks, but I really can't do anything about it. I picked Legion Commander here because I originally wanted to pick Shadow Fiend, but then I saw they have TA, and TA does really well against Shadow Fiend, and I also kind of really wanted to play Legion Commander for really no particular reason other than wanting to play Legion Commander. So, picked go. Legion Commander, and we're going into the mid, which is terrible. Don't go mid with Legion Commander. But actually, it's not terrible, it is alright. It's just uh, a lot of the time it doesn't um, do well. Like, it, it, it is one of those things where it really depends on the matchup, where it depends on who you're going up against. And uh, <laughs> TA is definitely one of those heroes that falls into a lot of the time, right? Like, TA falls into the category of hero where, oh, this is going to suck. So, we're just going to try to make our bet. Like, we're just going to try to make this happen, right? Just going to try to make this work. And yeah, so that's the strategy for today. Anyway, uh, I'm still sick. Quick update on that. My throat hurts less, which was like one of the two issues I had. Like I have this really violent cough and my throat hurts really badly. My throat barely hurts at all anymore. Um, it does still hurt, but nowhere near as much as it used to. But my cough is getting worse. Like I'm, I still have these like, like, I guess like coughing fits and they are getting worse and I don't know what to do. So I guess I just gotta go to the doctors again tomorrow and hope that, you know, we can come up with something because this is... It's been going on for a while now and um, I'm really sorry about it, but I... I, <laughs> I mean, you can believe me that there's nobody out there that wants this to go away more than I do. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, this game I thought was kind of cool, kind of fun and uh, I wanted to try out Legion Commander Aghanims. In the early game, I'm not doing too well here, mostly because it's just a super tough matchup, right? Like, TA does so much damage to you. I need to, I needed to, like, always assess how much damage is, like, each last hit worth. Because I'm basically, basically every single time I go into the lane to get a last hit, I'm gonna get hit at least once. And is that worth it? Right? I needed to really assess that and, and, and like, make it work as best as possible. Right there, I feel like I could have turned around. Right, like the, the creeps burn through her refraction. I didn't see that quickly enough, and I should have just turned around and fought her. If I had done that, I could have definitely gotten a lot of damage in, because as long as she doesn't have refraction going on, I actually win those fights. Right, uh, without refraction, I am more powerful, but with refraction, she is. But hey, I'm keeping up, you know, like it's not like I'm, I'm doing horribly, right? Like last hits, you can see I'm actually ahead. Uh, <laughs> that's surprising. Um, but yeah, like, I'm doing alright. I'm just uh, a little unhappy because I feel like I could have done better. Right? But you can always do better, I suppose. And yeah. So my plan here is to get Bottle, just because I'm mid. I like Bottle in the mid. Then Boots, and then just straight rush Blink, blink Dagger. And go hard on the ganks. Right? Super fucking hard. Um, because, like, this mid lane is just not gonna work for me. Like, I just... I don't know, I, I I don't know what I'm supposed to do here exactly to win this. Uh, simply because she just has the refraction, right? And she has invisibility. I'm trying to pressure her right here, but really I mostly pressure myself, right? I hardly get anything done. I take more damage than I actually deal to her and it's not really worth it. So my goal is mostly to just um, get the Blink Dagger and then start shutting down their team, play aggressive. Um, be around the map and mostly just hope that the TA doesn't get too out of control Right like that's the strategy actually. I, I now see I was doing a lot better than I thought while I was playing this game which was I guess like 15 minutes ago, right? Um, I thought that I was not winning this lane. I thought I wasn't doing very well Yeah, I wanted to get that bounty rune, but then I see the shadow shaman going there and I'm like yeah screw that <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Fuck that shit. I got a minute on the shrine. I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna go top. Maybe there's a rune there. And I get lucky there actually is. I grab myself the haste, which is quite convenient. And I can heal myself up with that. And yeah. Back into the lane we go. 
gonna continue farming up. So uh, boots, I originally had power treads in there, but after thinking about it a little bit more, I decided to go with face boots instead. I just wanted the additional mobility because, um, again, I wasn't super happy with my farm and uh, I felt like I, I could have had a little bit more, but I wanted to be active already. And in that scenario, so the thing is like, power treads are better if you have your blink dagger and face boots are better if you don't have it, right? And I was trying to make that risk assessment. Okay, well, how long am I not going to have the Blink Dagger? And if I get face boots, am I going to get it quicker? Right, because the Blink Dagger is really the big piece here. After the Blink Dagger, of course, Blade Mail. I always, always get Blade Mail on Legion Commander. I think it is the single best item on the hero. And then after the Blade Mail, I wanted to get the Agonims, right? Like, Agonims is something I've been looking forward to trying out. I think it is very powerful. But if I say this, by the way, if I say I think it is very powerful, I mean... I think at this stage in the game, I believe it is a powerful item, right? It is going to let me go uh, just nutty on their team without them being able to do anything. And you'll see later how it actually works out. I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah. So, um, well, for now in the early game, we're just going to continue last sitting. I want to um, tell you about something else really quick in, this, in Open Angel Arena. Uh, we just implemented a new item. And by a new item, I don't really mean an entirely new item, but a new option for boots. Guardian Greece now also have a farming component, which means they are actually viable now. Um, the farming component is uh, a creep assist gold. So if allied heroes around you kill a creep, or I think it might just be if a creep around you dies. I'm not entirely sure how it works right now. Um, but creeps die around you. You gain a percentage of the value of the creep just for free you just get that uh it's a supporting option right and it builds from guardian greece and it upgrades with guardian greece and the guardian greece become more powerful of course and so on um it's actually a pretty cool little thing i think and um feel free to try it out i'm gonna try it out a bunch today <laughs> i haven't really had a chance to experiment with it too much yet because we just now implemented it right like it is super new uh, patch was pushed, I believe, this morning at like 6 a.m. for me, and it is currently 12. Although, I, I, I so I, I'm currently sleeping, um, really, really badly. This is an issue that comes along with my current condition, I suppose. Uh, I cannot sleep properly because I constantly cough myself awake. Again, I have these coughing fits, and I, um, in the middle of the night, I remember this night. Uh, it was at five in the morning, uh, at two in the morning. Well, I mostly couldn't go to sleep until 2 in the morning just because I was having these coughing fits, right? Um, but at 2 in the morning, I was so exhausted that I just, like, I guess I fell asleep finally. And then at 5 in the morning, I woke up. And then I, again at 8 in the morning, funnily enough, like, kind of a three-hour interval there. Um, you know, like 2, 5, 8. And then again at 10 is just when I woke up, like, for the final time and got out of bed. Um... I'm usually pretty exhausted in the mornings as a result. Uh, right here, I'm just kind of waiting. I'm, I'm going to assess the situation before I dive this top lane. And I say, oh, okay. There's a guy there. It's the slug. Um, perfectly gankable. We're going to go for it. So I'm going to go for the slug. And I duel him. And that's my first duel victory of the game. Really quick and easy. And again, uh, I got myself the face boots to be aggressive early on. So I can actually like run in and just get some duels like that and it immediately paid off. Um, the smoke used as well, which is just, you know, an additional little tool to close in on them. But yeah, like that's something that's been going on. I cough myself awake at, n at night because I get, again, I get these really violent coughing fits. And um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, there's not really a point to me telling you this, I guess. I just want to let you know. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, am I getting a cat? Okay. Hello, Nikita. She's gonna want to come out again in like 12 minutes. Alright. Well, 12 minutes is actually probably a bit too long. No, no, it seems she's hiding under the couch. If she goes to hide under the couch, that's usually a place where she stays for a little while. So I guess we're good. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, I am constantly paying attention to the minimap and looking for situations where... I may or may not be able to, like, get a gank, you know, like, get a dual victory. But it just isn't really, like, too 
too much where I feel comfortable going for it. Again, the uh, TA is just a problem. Like, I don't think I can get a dual victory on the TA. And that's my goal right now, is to snowball those dual victories and get to the Blink Dagger as fast as possible. Um, so if I'm gonna go for a gank on a TA, like, I feel like it, uh, I'm probably not gonna make that happen. So I don't even wanna bother. Right? I'm just not even gonna try. And I'm standing gonna use that time to farm up. Because I think that's more valuable right now. But yeah, I'm also spending a lot of time in the jungle here. Just getting those crepes, because why not? <laughs> hey, again, I'm just trying to grind it up. Just trying to get big. And, um, but yeah, uh, so, Open Angel Arena, right? Like, we are constantly patching it, adding new stuff in there. You can expect a patch that brings something new to the game every few days. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys are, you know, trying out the game and having some fun with it and all of that. But I don't want to talk too much about that right now. Again, currently my plan is just to farm up, right? I just want to get big and get scary. And that's the only thing I care about. I don't care about my team too much. Like, if I get an opportunity to gank, great. If I don't, then that's fine. By the way, um... <laughs> So I went for the face boots, right? Like, and, and I, I said I'm gonna like use that to like get some ganks and such. The finger, the thing is, I got a dual victory off the face boots, and I don't think I would have gotten that if I had power treads, right? So in my head, like I think that's actually fine. Face boots and power treads. There's a little bit of a power gap between the two, right? Which one is better for Legion Commander? But it's not massive. It's really not. And by the way, I see that I'm just like, I got a haste. Oh, free dual victory. Let's go. Right? <laughs> but I don't think that power gap is massive. The power gap is pretty small. And um, so, like, I again, I think uh, power threats are a little bit better when you have the blink dagger and face are a little bit better when you don't. But it's not, like, super significant by any means. Also, this guy just, like, starts attacking me and I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> if I had my duel already, you would be dead right now. <laughs> but sure. Right? So the fact that they managed to get, like, that, that I managed to get a duel victory off of those face boots, which I wouldn't have gotten off the power treads, makes them completely worth it. Like, I think that is 100% fine. That is good. I'm happy with that. I don't need any more than that to make these, or to justify these face boots. Right? That is a perfectly reasonable thing. Um, now we almost have our Blink Dagger. Well, we, we do have it. We just haven't actually gotten it. Right? We have the money for it. And there's a TA that shows up. But uh, I'm not too worried about the Mana Leak. I do have the Purge, of course. You can't just get rid of that and run away just fine. So uh, I do that. And I run away just fine. And get myself my Blink Dagger, some TPs. And now I'm just constantly looking at the minimap kind of trying to find a situation where I can get a dual victory but currently uh, I don't think there's anything on the map where I can force a fight without risking dying and that's of course something I want to avoid so I just decided to okay you know what for now we're just gonna continue hitting creeps um, until I find a situation where I got TPs ready I got my blink dagger ready I'm on alert on the same situation as up top funnily enough Almost the exact same situation. I managed to just blink out and everything is fine. But yeah, uh, it's just a kind of a situation. Hey, <clears throat> I want to fight, but I don't want to die. Right? I don't want to fight enough to... Or like, uh, yeah, I'm not keen enough on fighting to risk dying or win. But I go down here because I see they're kind of rotating down here as well. Everything is starting to collapse into this bottom lane. See a guy. See another guy. I'm just like, well, let's go. Let's go and get that Cottle. Not too worried about the Wraith King. Yeah, I suppose getting the Wraith King kill is more valuable. But I think getting the Wraith King thing, King... Blah, 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 blah. I think getting the Wraith King kill afterwards is easier than getting the Cottle kill. Because Cottle actually has tools to defend himself. Wraith King doesn't. And so... Um, we kill the Cottle. I get myself another duel. We victory we are now at 14 minutes into the game and i already have 30 dual damage which is just absolutely fantastic where right? it doesn't really get like i think that's about as much as you can ask for um really happy with how that went uh, we can now look at the net worth you can see i'm leading here and um 
that is exactly the situation I like to be in, right? You guys know that. Uh, I am the most comfortable if I can get ahead and stay ahead. Right? And that's actually what I think I'm, I'm, I'm good at too, right? I, I can get ahead and once I am ahead, I tend to just keep that advantage up, up and just keep snowballing it. I think I'm pretty decent at doing, uh, doing that. And so <laughs> that's the plan right here, right? We're just going to continue snowballing this advantage, which essentially means farm up as much as you can in the downtime and every time you see an opportunity you go and collapse on them you go and just nuke them down get a quick kill and then go back to farming right but it's also important that you actually like apply pressure on them right like it's not just you cannot just farm this is something that people do wrong like they they think farming is purely only about hitting creeps you can't do that right you gotta also apply pressure on the enemy if you don't apply pressure on the enemy while farming, then you're not gonna get any value out of it. So I see there's a bit of a fight in the mid lane. I teleport in, but then the fight stops, so I just go check the rune. Right, and I'm just like, oh, I guess I, I, I suppose we're not gonna fight then. That's fine with me. I would, I would have actually liked to continue that little encounter, but all right, that works for me, I suppose. There's the Cottle Blast coming. Doesn't really do too much. And actually, funnily enough, so I, I have this raindrop. Right, and I just kind of got that raindrop because I like raindrop. I didn't really spend too much time thinking about it. But that raindrop isn't actually too useful in this game. It blocks a bunch of cotton blasts, and that's really the only thing. And I suppose it served its purpose in that regard, right? <laughs> I suppose it did. But it is still a little bit silly that that's all it did this game. Anyway, kill that camp, make sure to get out of the box once the timer hits, so I can um, go ahead and go back and farm it again because I'm very close to actually finishing up my blade mail and as I have uh, mentioned many times in the past I think blade mail is the best item to get on Legion Command well it's actually not the best item you get blink you get blade mail on Legion Command if you don't get those two items then stop playing Legion Commander I'm not usually like that right like I usually am somebody that is really in favor of okay there's a variety of item and skill builds and all of that stuff you can do right like I'm the guy that's gonna go mid with fucking shadow shaman or some shit like that but with Legion Commander, you, got blade, you get Blink, you get Blade Mail. Maybe you get an armlet in between. Maybe. But you still get the Blade Mail, because Blade Mail is just so fucking good, right? Like, it allows you to kill their cores super easily. And that's what she shines at, right? That's what Legion Commander shines at. Legion Commander finds an enemy core and then takes care of them. And that is powerful. So, uh, at this point, again, I'm just kind of farming and looking at the minimap. And always just kind of like thinking, well, okay, you know, maybe maybe there's a chance to get a dual victory in the sea. Okay, Slark, so he doesn't have that much HP right now. I mean, he's going to heal up. But, um, yeah, he is in the jungle farming up. Now, sadly, I didn't have a smoke. A smoke would have been perfect. But I see the Slark, and I'm like, okay, he's probably farming up there. And, oh, he jumped away. All right, so they did have a ward here. They did have a ward here. He scouted me out, and that's exactly what a smoke would be good for. Right, but again, I didn't have one. Um, unfortunate like that, but I suppose so. O also, Matt, by the way, using the fancy new Kunkka set, which is pretty fucking fancy, man. That is a cool Kunkka, that's for sure. So, uh, we've got ourselves the Blade Man now, and at this stage, I'm just gonna finish up. Oh, well, finish up my item build with an Aghanims, because that's what I want to try. And I want to see how that Aghanims works out. And, um, yeah. Now, at this stage, I am um, kind of... So, my mentality shifts at this point, right? Like, so far, I've spent a lot of time farming. I have gone for ganks when I saw it fit, when I saw an opportunity. But I didn't, like, necessarily super force my way in. Now that I have Blink, Blade Mail, I am willing to be as aggressive as I could possibly be. Right? Just like constantly force things, go for fights, go for duels, build up that damage. And so we're pushing. So we're pushing down that top tower. We're gonna go ahead and try just put an end to this. Like, I guess, right? To the entire game. Just like finish this. And there we go. We got the shark coming in. Instantly hits the fish, and uh, I get the duel. Activate the blade mail. Laguna blade finishes him, but I get the dual victory nonetheless. And then there is a Wraith King, so I just run in and beat him up a bunch. 
Brave King, of course, has his resurrection ready. But that won't save him. Not right here. <laughs> no, and down he goes. He didn't really stand much of a chance. And then, I think it is this fight that we noticed the uh, Legion Commander. Not Legion Commander, the TA. Yeah, yeah, you see the TA up there? She was hiding in the trees. And then she's like, oh shit. <laughs> Tries to TP out. That's not happening. Problem is, we don't have any fucking detection. So we just like gotta nuke her down like this. And there she is. <laughs> And I get myself another kill. Hey, we got a killing spree. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm fairly happy about that. Anyway, uh, by the way, uh, we are like 20 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We'll definitely appreciate that. And uh, I personally think these replay commentaries are quite fun. I hope you guys enjoyed them too. I hope this is, um, you know, at least uh, an adequate replacement for doing it live. Right? While I cannot do them live. By the way, in case you're wondering why I can't do them live, uh, it's because my process uh, in terms of like making these videos as like live commentaries involves a lot more talking than I'm currently able to do. While doing it like this only involves as much talking as I kind of like can, like, like as long as the replay is, right? So I know this game lasts X minutes. So I know this is how much talking I have to do. While if I do them live, I never know if this game is even good enough to really be uploaded, right? If even I wanna, if I, even if I wanna do, if I even wanna do that, and so on. So yeah. All right. I'm just sitting here, you know. I don't really wanna have my mana leaked. I kind of need that a little bit. I mean, I don't need too much mana, luckily enough, but a little bit would be nice, <laughs> you know. So uh, I wanna go over here. And then there's the Kotler again, and I'm just like, God damn it. You know, like, I just wanted to get my point booster so I can get my Agonims, but I guess not. Alright, so we activate the shrine. We activate the shrine, we heal up, get our mana back. We're still walking around mostly as a team. And again, we're just so far ahead. Like, we're just trying to push our advantage now. And that's the thing you really gotta do. Right, like, don't just keep noodling about. That's what I see, like, lower skill level players do all the fucking time. Stay, they, they get ahead, and then they don't do anything with it. Right, like, it's just like, you are ahead right now. You have a lead. Why aren't you trying to kill them? I mean, when are you going to try and kill them? What is a better moment than when you are ahead? Right? So, go ahead and try to apply some pressure. So you can see we are gaining map control. We are farming more aggressively. Look at our positioning. We are all on their side of the map. Well, I'm kind of on the edge here, but I'm moving towards their side of the map, right? We're all kind of closing in on them and, and, and taking all of the options away. Now I see a slog there. I'm like, all right, easy kill. Jump the slog. He did not stand a chance. <laughs> he gets absolutely destroyed. Got a boat incoming. There is... Uh, a clockwork as well and shadow shaman just goes down shadow shaman absolutely obliterated i get more dual damage now sitting at a comfortable 58 which i'm happy about let's go <laughs> yeah that's that's a good amount i like having 58 dual damage that sounds pretty da pretty damn nice no i go top honestly like i don't think we could really push the barracks there so i would rather just apply some more pressure somewhere else um, we didn't have too many, like, resources left. I was mostly out of mana, so I can't really keep going. We have Clockworks Ultimate on cooldown, the, the Conquer Boat is on cooldown. Those are big spells, we need those, right? So I decided to just go away, go ahead and uh, apply some pressure top, push in that lane a little bit, while I continue farming up. And I also really wanted my Agon. <laughs> I was excited for that Agonus, man. Like, that Agonus is something I've been looking forward to for a while now. I mean, it's actually just... God, it's so insane. Because you're magic immunity now. Right, okay, so in case you don't know what Legion Commander's Agonus does. First of all, um, your duel lasts longer. And quite a bit longer, too. I think max level duel with Agonus lasts 8 seconds. Something like that. It is quite a while. Oh, hello. And I'm just like, you want to go? <laughs> But then he goes invisible, I'm like, oh, I guess not. That's a bit disappointing, because, like, I was all ready to just duel him. But, 
He wasn't gonna give it to me, I suppose. <laughs> so, the Legion Commander Agonims gives you a longer door, makes it so that only you and uh, the uh, the guy you duel take damage from each other, right? So, like, if you duel a guy, then you can only hurt each other and nobody else has any impact on that duel, right? And also, it makes you magic immune. So, it just essentially means you get to go to Pound Town with one guy or girl. Whatever you want, man. Fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, there's a guy there. Oh, yeah. Like so. And there's nothing they can do about it. Like, literally nothing anybody can do about it. You're magic immune. And you don't take damage, right? Like, they cannot stop this from happening. So, if you are looking strong, right? If you are ahead, nobody can interrupt your duel. And you just have a kill button that accelerates into a bigger kill button. And increases your damage every time you use it. It's actually kind of crazy, if you think about it, right? Um... Of course, if you are not a, a Legion Commander that's very powerful, right? Like, let's say you have a bad game, or you're playing some sort of, like, offlane supporting Legion Commander, then you may not be able to actually kill people in the time of the duel. Because you cannot have any support from people outside of the duel. And yeah, that can happen. Right? And that would be, I suppose, a bit of a problem. But... Dude, blade mail alone, like, solves that issue. Because you just return so much fucking damage back to them. And, um, I don't know, it's just really strong. This right here is where I screw up a little bit, and I... I, I don't know, like, I, I tried to double-click my W, and it just didn't come out properly, and it was a little bit annoying, because I didn't end up getting the duel on the slug there. But, yeah. Oh, there's the Slark, though. He's going in. He's trying to fight. And now I'm ready again. So I blink forward and I just take whoever is here. <laughs> just take him down. Quick kill. Easy peasy. Get myself another dual victory. The Wraith King dies right there. And resurrects as well. Slark coming in. Slark trying to fight, but there's not really much he can do. Wraith King goes down. TA goes down. I think we win this fight without any casualties, which is pretty impressive. Like, that's kind of neat. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that ended up working out really nicely. But yeah, managed to just go ahead and get myself another dual victory. But essentially what I'm saying is, right, like, once you have that Aghanims and you are able to one-on-one -on -one people, like, if you can get solo kills on somebody, then your ultimate is essentially kill a guy. Because nobody can interrupt it. There's nothing that can be done about it. You cannot stun me while I'm dueling you. You cannot, like kill me you can't do anything right and it's just insane if you think about it like it's actually just such an uh, such a crazy ability um i really really like this agonims you'll see uh, this this game by the way this game looks really over right now it is not as over as it seems um but you'll see some instances of me actually getting to properly utilize this agonims effect and it is insane, like how completely helpless it makes people. I think this effect is very powerful. I, I have no doubt we'll see a lot of it. Anything that gives magic immunity is powerful. Right? It's just anything that gives magic immunity is powerful. That's all that needs to be said. But yeah, it just makes people completely helpless. They just don't have any options. And also poor Kotl. Yeah, push one if you feel bad for Kotl, man. Ooh. Yeah, but uh, it lasts 8 seconds with the Scepter, right? And we're level 21 now. Of course, Legion Commander has an experience talent, which means that she can actually get to level 25, and actually she can get to use that 40 dual damage bonus, which is just kind of crazy. And uh, that's really strong as well. Alright, there is the Rave King. I don't have dual ready, but it's not going to be needed. Just pick him off super quick. And now it's time to start pushing the base. Right, like we got a kill, we actually got kind of two, but the keep off the lightest back. I'm just sitting back waiting for my duel. I already see a reason to go for something without my duel. Um, it's just so powerful, right? So I run in and I'm, I'm looking for something, but she goes invisible and then, ah, uh, that didn't work. Right, and I see the slog, I'm like, fuck, I guess I'll take it. This is what I mean. 
You see what I mean when I say the guy is just completely helpless. This entire team was there and they couldn't help him. They just couldn't do anything. Like, yes, okay, you saw that a Laguna Blade came out from my team, right? We had the Torrent come out and throw him up into the air and all of that. And that didn't help either. But what I'm saying is, when, like, if you are ahead... Also, for some reason, most of my team died here. And I didn't realize this until this point. I'm just like, wait, why are you dead? How did that happen? So I'm trying to run away. Trying to blink out, but I couldn't quite manage to do so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah. Essentially what happened there was just like, I'm like, okay, let's go in. And then my team dies. And I'm like, wait a second. How did you die? <laughs> that was really surprising. <laughs> but yeah. In that last fight, you could see how incredibly helpless that Slark was. Right? And like, yeah, my team threw a bunch of spells at him. They shouldn't have. Right? That is a mistake from my team. Um... I guess I should have informed them I've got Aghanims, which I didn't, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, what I'm saying is just, like, they, however, couldn't do anything either, right? Like, I was right in the middle of them, and they were just like, our carry is being dueled, and we cannot help. There is just nothing we can do to stop this. He's just dead now. And that is the kind of helplessness that I really like about this Aghanims, right? And that's really powerful. <clears throat> of course, that really only works if you're ahead. Um, but it is an item that can absolutely just win you a game. You also need to really, like, not underestimate the power of the Blade Mail. Right? Like, Blade Mail alone with Leeching Commander means you don't actually have to be... I, I'm, I'll actually take that back. You don't have to be ahead. You just have to not be horribly behind and then you can kill basically anybody that does any sort of right click damage as long as you just activate your blade mail right because the damage output is massive most carries cannot tank five seconds of their own damage they just cannot do that and that's what blade mail makes them do so yeah anyway right here uh, i want to finish up my soul cross partially for pushing but mostly because i died in that last fight and I felt like it was just a TA that actually had the ability to kill me and nobody else could really do anything about me. So I'm just like, okay, well, I mean, the TA is, is scary and such. So I'm just gonna get my a sword cross and hopefully be able to tank it. Right? Should be able to. Find a haste rune. Kind of nice. I find it weird that Legion Commander doesn't have like a hasted uh, animation. You know, most heroes have an animation that, like, like a running animation looks different when they are hasted. Legion Commander doesn't. Which is kind of a little bit odd, isn't it? Oh, well. But, yeah. Got my Soul Cross incoming. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick that up really quick. And uh, now we are ready to go into the next fight. And, uh, yeah. We have a mission up there. So, I just go ahead and kill the Wraith King really quick. I understand this isn't necessarily like a kill that's going to win us the fight. But I didn't really consider that the start of the fight. Like the way I thought about that kill, it's just like I can get a dual victory right now. And I can put the Wraith King ultimate on cooldown. And then we just wait until my ultimate is ready again. And then we go for the fight. Like we just wait 30 seconds. And then we're going into the next fight with an even bigger advantage. So let's just do that instead. Right? There's no need to rush anything right now. It doesn't take very long for my ultimate to come off cooldown. I don't know if that was the right call, right? Like, maybe we could have just pushed right there. But at the same time, I like getting dual damage. And right? I'm sitting at 148 right now, which I'm fairly happy about. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about 148 dual damage. Right, and you can see that now we're pushing in all three lanes. We have um, our ultimate back. I feel like we're in a really good position to actually go for something here. Oh, well, my team has decided to kill the shrine instead. Which seems reasonable, right? Like, killing those shrines is kind of important as well. And then we have a bit of a fight going on. So, we've got one of our heroes called out. I activate my blade, I go in there, and you see, yet again, I'm in the middle of, like, four heroes, and they had nothing they could do. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> I just jump into five heroes, duel a guy, and they're like, well, shit. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing we can do to stop this Legion commander from getting a free kill on our slog again. Right, like every single time I, I jump in there, the, whoever I duel is just fucked. They just cannot do anything to stop that from happening. And, um, yeah, so I go ahead and, like, get a return kill really easily. At this point, I'm not quite sure what to buy. You know, I'm thinking about getting, uh, damage, you know, maybe a Desolator, maybe a Daedalus. Maybe a little bit more survivability, considering an Abyssal Blade. I don't really like Abyssal Blade too much on Legion Commander, though, because I want them attacking me for my passive, for the Blade Mail. Um, so, uh, you know... Uh, Kind of considering Moonshard as well, because it is Moonshard Monday after all. This is where I jump in, and this is kind of awkward, right? Like, this is a really shitty situation to be in. But I'm just like, oh, another free kill, because there's nothing you can do to stop this. Where the Laguna Blade came out again, Laguna Blade does nothing, of course, has no impact on that. But that's exactly what I mean, right? It's just like the slug jumps me, and I'm just like, door. And he's like, well, shit. I guess it's just it. Like, he's just dead now. And they can't interrupt it. I think this Agonist is really powerful. I don't know. You tell me what you think, right? Like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this new Agonist. I'm quite interested in hearing your opinion. Because it is really one of really one of those tools. Yeah. Who? It can do some damage, I think. It's not going to be something that we'll see every single game. I don't think it's good enough for that. It's, it's a bit more situational, I suppose. I think uh, good enough is probably like the wrong term to use because that implies that, well, I guess in some situations it's gonna, not going to be good, but in others it's just completely overwhelming. So now we got the 40 extra dual damage every time we get a dual. Let's go, right? 60 bonus damage for every dual is kind of a little bit silly if you think about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just kind of walk in again. I mean, they can try to stop me, but like how... This is kind of awkward, but Blade Man, I don't have any vision on this guy, which is annoying. I wanted to duel him. He activates his BKB, so I duel him here. And this is kind of the problem. I didn't have my Blade Mail active. If I had my Blade Mail active, I would have gotten this kill. But you can see, like, I get really close to getting the duel victory anyway, but don't quite actually get it. But again, that was a full duel. Eight seconds, and there was nothing they could do. They had no options. Isn't that crazy? Right, so now I decide to just go for the Moonshine. I'm thinking it's just like, I do have so much damage anyway. Right, I hit for 184 bonus. Like, I hit for 400 damage right now. Do I need more damage? No, not really. What I really want is more attack speed. Because that's just gonna, like, increase my DPS more than additional damage would. So I'm gonna go for more attack speed. And I pick up the Moonshard. Um, it's also very fitting because it is Moonshard Monday after all. Because every day is Moonshot Monday. There's no such day that there's no, there's no, su no day that isn't Moonshot Monday, right? Um, yeah, but I don't know. I like having the Moonshot. It's, it's one of those items you don't get to buy it very often, but when you have it, it's just like, I have a Moonshot. Let's go. That's awesome. All right. Time to push top. And this is really where we are just like, okay, let's actually end this game, right? Enough of this noodling about. Let's see what we can do. See what we, what's that? Let's see what we can do. And I don't, honestly, I gotta give those guys a little bit of, like, props. They're definitely defending pretty well, considering the situation here. And so I just, like, blink in and do all this guy. And again, Wraith King is sitting right next to me. Couldn't do anything. And go ahead and just take the tower. All right. Tower goes down. Barracks go down. The damage output is insane. 242 dual damage at this point. Go ahead and start pushing down the mid. Of course, we are also using the new Legion Commander talent, the 10% moment of courage proc chance, which is pretty neat. You know, now it's a 35% every three attacks as opposed to every four. And we get ourselves the Mega Creeps. And we get ourselves the Mega Creeps. And that's uh, basically it. Right. So, at this point, I, of course, just want to get more dual victories. I mean, duh. So I see the fountain, and I'm just like, let's go. And I, like, get insta-hexed, and I'm like, what the fuck? 
Also, like, actually, like, this was so fucking next level from them. Like, let's actually go back really quick. Like, guys, look, look at how fucking next level this shit is. Alright, game is over. There's no spoilers anymore, right? But here, look at this. So, I want to go into their fountain and, like, kill them, right? But these motherfuckers, they smoke up before I get in there, right? So, I have vision on them right now. Now, they smoke up. I blink in. I lose vision. I try to click on somebody. And I instantly get hexed. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Who smokes up like that? What the fuck? And so I die. <laughs> and buy back and get myself TP boots. And come back and actually get my dual victory, of course. Uh, but I'm just saying, motherfucker. So, uh, I go ahead and I just duel the Phantom Assassin. This time... No blade mail again, but doesn't matter because I just like murder him. Easy fucking peasy, right? And then they go, and then there's a slug there, and he tries to fight, but he really can't. Like it doesn't really quite work out for him, and I just kill the Wraith King, and there's the slug, and I hit him like twice, and he takes a billion fucking damage, and get the triple kill right there. At this point, I think I've got one more duel in me before the game ends. I would like to get that one, you know, I gotta maximize that damage, right? <laughs> I mean, that's really the whole point of playing Legion Commander, it's just a game of high score. So, there is a Shadow Shaman here, and I blink in, I get a duel victory. 358 bonus damage at the end of that game. 18 and 2 and 11. Although the last death, of course, is a little bit silly, and this right here is where they pause. I don't know why people do this, the fun is very annoying. I guess that's why they do it, right, because it is very annoying, but it's just so unnecessary, right? You're, like, you're wasting everybody's time, even your own. Nah, don't really get it. Alright, I think it was a pretty fun game, you know, I think it, it did show a little bit of that new Aghanims. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, let me go ahead and just do the giveaway really quick and then that's gonna do it for today and um yeah again i'm still sick i'm trying to recover as quickly as possible but it's already in my hand so two demigods you win and you win what is this blade of the wandering flame sure uh, you get both of them, because I feel like it would be silly to just have one. So, like, Blade of the Wandering Flame and Offhand Blade of the Wandering Flame. I guess you, you can preview the full set. Right, so this is what they look like. I don't need them, I got Divine Rapiers. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.